I've had an MRI and a CAT scan. I've had X-rays. I've had a CT scan. In our healthcare system, uh, a couple MRIs. Scanning has become a prime example of technology's unintended consequences. I broke the windshield with the back of my skull. When a car accident left Molly Birnbaum with multiple injuries. I hurt my knee and I fractured my pelvis. She was given a total of nine CAT scans during her week-long hospital stay. Yeah, it was very disturbing. Doctors wanted even more, but her father resisted. And he's a radiologist. And at that point, I drew a line in the sand and I said, absolutely not. Uh, there is no reason to do this anymore. CAT scans use radiation similar to x-rays. MRIs use magnetic fields. Doctors order one or the other depending upon what they're looking for. Both have revolutionized medical diagnosis. But the problem is a growing number of critics say tests like these are overused. We're definitely doing too many procedures. I mean, every time we work in an emergency room or in the inpatient setting, after the fact, it becomes very obvious that certain studies either could have been avoided, delayed, or not done at all. And now there's also widespread concern over skyrocketing costs. CT scans are big money makers, costing anywhere from $300 to $1,000. MRIs run as high as $1,300. The annual price tag for imaging, $100 billion. And experts estimate 35% of these tests aren't even necessary. That's potentially $35 billion wasted every year. There's their gallbladder up there. Dr. Foreman says faster machines are helping to drive demand. 15 years ago, the CT scanner would scan at a rate that could get maybe three or four patients through in a given hour. Close your eyes. Now, if you have able-bodied people moving the patient on and off the table, you could probably do a dozen or more patients in an hour. In fact, from 2000 to 2007, the annual number of CAT scans almost doubled to 69 million. It's too easy, too fast, and too good. So it's much easier to order the test than it is to observe the patient, to monitor the patient, uh, and avoid doing the CAT scan. And there is potential harm to patients. Experts are concerned that tests like CAT scans, which use radiation, might increase the risk of cancer. So how do you fix the overuse of CAT scans and other high-tech procedures? The bills before Congress aim to reduce Medicare payment rates for scanning, for instance, increase funding for studies comparing different treatments to see what works best, and encourage conversion to electronic medical records so tests aren't mistakenly duplicated and doctors have a database of results to learn from. Did the patient bring his chest x-ray with him? But some people aren't waiting for Washington's version of reform. Motivated by his daughter Molly's experience, Dr. Birnbaum has started a program flagging doctors if a patient seems to be receiving too many tests. I'm very pleased with the results. I um, feel like I've done something in the fall of my career and that to really help patients. Patients have to take responsibility too. These days, people come in expecting instant answers and the latest technology, Katie. But how do you talk patients out of getting these tests if they want them? In other words, if I had persistent headaches, I'd say, give me an MRI because I want to rule out the possibility of a brain tumor. Katie, the key thing is having enough time. If I have enough time, I can do a full history and physical, and then I can sit down with you in my office afterwards, and we can discuss it. I can tell you exactly what I think is going on, and then answer all of your questions. And then, assuming that I don't think anything serious is going on, I can probably get you to put it off for a while, give it a little bit of time, and see what happens. All right. Thank you, Dr. John LeBook. <laughs>